minimise the impact of traffic on our local communities. We will be developing site-specific traffic management plans, but also we plan on moving our traffic, our construction traffic, outside major peak hour timings, as well as times that could impact school zones and things like that. The tunnel activity also avoids major uh, pieces of infrastructure, such as the M4 and the Great Western Highway, because we're tunnelling under them, so we minimise our impact there and Ludnam Road we're also bridging over the top of it so we minimise our impact on those pieces of infrastructure. For the truck haulage routes, we plan to keep those on major arterial roads and keep them off residential streets. We have some impacts around St Mary's Station but generally most of our haulage routes will be on major roads. Before approving our construction routes, we will be undertaking extensive consultation with the local council as well as affected stakeholders to ensure that the final routes chosen do have the minimal impact on the communities. We've minimised the impact to the transport network as we develop the Western Sydney Airport project. We do have some impact around St Mary's though. We have to relocate some bus stops, but we aim to do that for the shortest amount of time possible. We will also be maintaining the services and access through to the T1 Western Line as well. The project will be creating a new station plaza to the north of St Mary's Station on Harris Street. That site at the moment is an existing at-grade car park. Before we impact that car park, we will be building two more levels on the existing commuter car park which is adjacent to the current at-grade car park. Each of the metro sites are different. Some are busier than others, requiring more construction vehicles to remove spoil from our tunnel sites. But we are coming up with a tailored plan for each of those sites to minimise their impact on the community. Safety is our number one priority. We'll be putting in place extra traffic control measures around our construction sites to minimise the impact we have on pedestrians, cyclists and motorists. For major events we have the flexibility to change our construction routes as well as our working hours. We'll be working with the broader transport for New South Wales and our major stakeholders to plan in and around these events so that we have minimal impacts to them. This is a very exciting project to be a part of and I'm looking forward to working really closely with our stakeholders and the community to deliver a safe and exciting metro project for the people of Sydney.